Hello, welcome to Dr. Colbert's Divine Health Broadcast. We are excited to bring you answers for your health. We hope that you are enjoying this. Let us know what you think. We want to get feedback from you, so please be sure and give us your feedback if it's helped you and how it's helped you. Today we are continuing on an important topic and it's about back pain. I'm telling you, it's huge. So if you missed the first show, go back and watch the first show and we'll continue on because Don, you had so much oh, information. My goodness, yes. We just can't put it in one show. Well, I know, but we can yeah. kind of encapsulate okay. everything. Yes. We're, we just finished talking about uh, back uh, strains and sprains. And what we want to do first is, again, we want to uh, rest the back, but we want to keep moving. Don't just lay down all day. Some people lay down and that's it. You want to do movement, but just not excessive movement or anything that would hurt the back. You know, I'm glad you said that because the first thing that comes to my mind is I have a sister in the ninth grade who had a car crash. And she was in a convertible and it threw her out of the convertible and a surfboard hit her directly in the back and it broke her back mm -hmm. and she was in the hospital in traction. But throughout her life, it has been a source right. of her. She's very healthy, uh, just like me, but she, because of that car crash, it has been a source of her whole life of having to deal with back pain. But let me just tell you, she even had surgery at one point where they had to go in and remove her backbone with a cadaver backbone, and she's got rods down her back. Um, so you name it, and she's gone through it when it comes to the back. Right, sure. But the one thing I admire about my sister, you know, she, she and I moving. are close to the right. same age. She does not quit moving. That's key, she goes, critical. She goes to line dancing twice a week. Awesome. She Love goes it. out and plays pickleball. That's amazing. And she's got these rods in her back, and amazing. she's about the same age as I am. And yes, she still has back pain. She says, but Mary, I know She's that right if on. I stop moving, You've got to I move. will end up in a wheelchair. And I know that right. that's, you know, I'll end up. And stretching the stretching. back is so she important. She does all these things, folks. I'm telling you, well, I have the watched posture her is important. from ninth grade. And I've watched losing her. the weight is critical. And she keeps her <laughs> weight, weight down. down. Sure. And she does it, and she is a testimony to no matter what's happened to your back, right. she has you still severe. can live a very full right, sure. and active life. And she has done it. I'm she very has. proud of right. her Right, she's for done that. extremely well. Now, uh, again, for back strains and sprains, we just want to first help with inflammation, which is mainly resting, but still moving. you got to move. And as the, as the pain gradually subsides, you move a little bit more and just let pain be your guide. And then you can ice it for the first 48 hours. Then you can use heat. And then we can also mild stretches. And I have a stretching video that can help you about mild stretching, we like to emphasize. And uh, uh, again, as you do this, and then take some simple anti-inflammatories like the nanoglutathione, the master antioxidant anti-inflammatory, usually four to six sprays twice a day, as well as the joint formula that has the boswellia in it and the type two collagen and the hydrolyzed collagen. This gives you the raw material to start repairing what's been damaged. Other things that help tremendously, Mary, I've been using for decades are enzymes, proteolytic enzymes, chymotrypsin and trypsin, such as vascuzyme. And these are made from the pancreas of cows or pigs that have these powerful proteolytic enzymes. You take them on an empty stomach and they help to uh, suppress inflammation in the body. And the others are just plant enzymes like uh, papain from papaya and my, one of my favorites is bromelain from pineapple. And especially after surgery and for bruising, the bromelain is amazing, guys. You can take- I hope they hear this because- Amazing. I, I'm telling you, I'll eat pineapple or yeah. bromelain after an injury or bruising, and it, I'll just amazing what know, it does because you notice people as they get as they age they bruise, bruise yes. easier. You yes. make this a part of your oh my, diet it's incredible and taking, and you will see bruising. It's very tough to bruise. Yeah, for those people that yeah. bruise, you get bromelain, 500 milligrams, and this you works. usually take one or two empty stomach, 30 minutes to an hour before meals two or three times a day, up to 3,000 milligrams a day. It's amazing what it does for bruising, uh, especially those post-surgical patients. Uh, amazing. 
Absolutely. It does. It does. It really works. See what you get to benefit from watching this video <laughs> or this program. <laughs> okay. You're going to just get, you're going to be the smartest person in your home, in your town, learning so much. And that's what we want to do. We want to bring you the information so that you and your family can live. That is, um, that's what we want to do is to bring the answers to the body of Christ. Because otherwise, People try to get in to see Don, and it, it's very difficult, I'll be honest. Well, we have nurse practitioners we do. Now that are really good, they sharp. They are very good. Yep. But to see him personally, it's getting more and more difficult. So the Lord really instructed us to do this, to bring the information to the public for free. We're doing this for free. We're going to teach you how to overcome every disease. Everything. Through good nutrition and faith and key exercises. Yes. That's right. And, and if you'll just take the time to watch them, you know, that's all you have to do is take your time to watch them. It's free, and uh, it'll benefit you. Now, one of the most amazing things for inflammation, sprains and strains, is the laser. We have this special red laser with a 635 nanometer wavelength, and this is what I use for my son who, tore, who uh, strained his calf muscle and uh, partially tore it. And he used that laser right away, and it decreased uh, healing time by 50% or more. Now, and he was of, amazed. Now, there are a lot of doctors who do have this laser, mostly Co -laser. chiropractors. Well, it's, it's the Orconia uh, laser. There's, I have um, a bunch of these different lasers. One's the EVRL by Orconia, uh, E-R-C-H-O-N-I-A. And one of the best ones is the FX635. It's a big laser. And this is approved by the FDA for treating back pain. And so I use that on a lot of my chronic back pain patients, and it, uh, most of them just love it. They say it helps tremendously. But now, laser. We, now we had we had a DRX machine. Yes. Now that's for discs. We'll talk about that. Oh, you're going to cover the We're DRX not on the discs later. Okay. Yet. All right. Now also, uh, and eventually, as you heal, gentle stretching is important, and then uh, light activity. Like I say, continue light activity. I like cycling on a recumbent bike because it generally gives you back support and it doesn't stress your back. Whereas running, jogging will stress your back. Walking, if it's tolerated, you can do that. But I love the recumbent bike or elliptical machine. Mm -hmm. And the last thing that is amazing for back pain, when your muscle, especially for sprains and strains, when your muscles are spasming, those muscles go into spasm and you get a knot. And when that happens, that accumulates lactic acid and metabolic waste products. What I've found over the years, and I've been doing this for 30 years, I put my patients on either a little uh, aluminum-free baking soda, a half teaspoon, usually twice a day in water, and like four ounces of water, or uh, Alka-Seltzer Gold, that's, uh, that's potassium citrate, one to two tabs twice a day. It brings that pH of their tissues up to around 7 to 7.5, which helps get rid of the metabolic waste products and amazingly how so many people with back pain or spasms, it improves them. So they can get those at any health food store online. And for some people, just get urine pH strips and adjust that urine pH to 7.0 to 7.5. You say, does it work for everyone? Is it in the literature? You can't really find it in the literature but I've been using this for 30 years on my patients and those with chronic back pain, many of them swear by taking that little half teaspoon of aluminum-free baking soda by Bob's Red Mill or the Alka-Seltzer Gold one to two tabs twice a day. Well, I think that's something, Don, that's worth, worth re-emphasizing and that is an acidic body makes a stiff body. It does. When you, you feel stiff, you feel that stiffness, Chances are you're very acidic. Now, how do people get acidic? From eating sugar, Eat sugar, carbohydrates, carbohydrates meats. Meats uh, make you acidic. very acidic. Yes. Okay. Whereas vegetables and fruits make you alkaline and drinking alkaline water. But most water distilled in reverse osmosis is very acidic. Okay. So see, if you're acidic and you're stiff, and you get up in the morning and you feel stiff, chances are you're very acidic. So if you work on making your body more alkaline by doing these things he just said, you'll notice the stiffness subsides tremendously. Right, now exactly. Now one thing, it's amazing. Well, I do it. Works. I yeah. do it in the morning. I love it. I just I do it once a day. Well, he does, he does his right after taking his coffee because yeah, coffee makes right. you acidic. It does. But I use alkaline water when I make my coffee. I drink one cup of coffee in the morning. Right, I know. And then I, I take my little bit of Alka-Seltzer Go. Right. 
And but the coffee, it offsets the it. coffee itself is, it is still acidic. acidic. It is. It's true. And that's, a, that's what is important. And that can contribute toward being stiff. So okay. that was worth watching the whole show. That's true. Now. <laughs> Absolutely. Now let's talk about one of the most common causes of back pain, Mary. You know what it is? No. But you're arthritis. Gonna... Arthritis. 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 Okay. arthritis. Well, that's, that's kind of connected to the stiffness. <laughs> okay. It usually occurs in the facet joints, and we'll have to put a picture up there of the facet joints. Okay. Because the facet joints, throughout the whole spine, we have facet joints that connect the spine together, and they're, they're, they have cartilage over them. With increased frictional forces, uh, mainly from the weight, remember that big belly is that 10 pounds extra weight puts 40 pounds extra stress on your back. And it pulls you out, it makes, it makes your body, your back go forward. It puts a lot of stress and strain on the facet joints and on the discs so that eventually you wear them out and you have bone on bone and you have no cartilage on your facet joints. And then your discs start to wear out, then they bulge and then they herniate and then you have severe pain. Mm. And also it stresses the ligaments, it pulls the ligaments forward. And so it's putting a lot of stress and strain. A lot of people that big belly, a lot of men with big uh, beer type bellies, they almost always have chronic back pain. And it's usually due to arthritis and degenerative disc disease. And so we've got to, again, lose that belly fat. And a lot of that belly fat is from drinking beer. They're usually beer drinkers. Eating sugar, eating carbs. And yeah. again, it's just yeah. that big belly. Uh, belly fat's produced from sugars and carbs and alcohol. It just yeah. creates a huge belly. It does. And, and it, I mean, you know, you do that, you're gonna pay for it. You just need to know that. But arthritis is usually caused from the big belly, Poor posture, again, that's another cre uh, problem creating for increased frictional force. You gotta maintain that lower curve in your lower back. And you see men with a flat lower back, they haven't maintained the curve. And so those men almost always have back pain or stooped over like that. You see that uh, stooped mm -hmm. posture. Those people have back pain because they're, they're wearing their disc out and their facets, they got arthritis. And literally when they walk, I see them running down the road and every, every step on their run, they're wincing in pain. Mm. And I wanna pull over to the side of the road and say, stop it, you're hurting your knees you're and your back. You're making it worse. You're making it worse. I see your stoop posture, it's making it worse. They should be doing recumbent bike or elliptical machine where it minimizes the frictional forces. I was talking with a gentleman who did some work for us and his wife just ran the New York Marathon and she's like 42, and I talked to her on the phone, and I, I was, she goes, man, this was the most difficult this year. It's over 25 miles or something, and she's like 42. Mm -hmm. I said, you might, you might consider making this your last year. That's true. I said, because mm -hmm. I can tell you, my husband has seen throughout the oh, years how many that patients. running yes. and Marathons are the worst for your marathon back. Marathon and running. It causes severe accelerated arthritis in your knees, in your back, yeah. in your hips. Yeah. It's, uh, so many patients have told me, uh, they say, I wish I'd never done marathons. I know. Because that's worn their joints It's one out. thing if while you're 20 and you're early 20s yeah, and you can recover okay. and heal. But folks, uh, the older you get. And the, the more weight you mean, carry, the, the weight, worse. The more stress on your joints. It's hard to recover. Your body can't recover like it did when you were young. Now, why is that? Why can't we recover so fast? I mean, it, why is it we can't? Well, what we happens? can, we can, we, we can if we maintain our weight and maintain our posture, and we you can. You can recover as absolutely. Quick? You can, and and you may have to take some uh, things, natural anti-inflammatories and stem cells every six months, and then you can see. So many people are saying, "I'm going to live to be 120," yet they're not taking resveratrol that activates the longevity genes. You need resveratrol. And also, you, if you want to live to be 120, you don't want to be an old, worn out 120. You want to be a young, yeah. youthful 120. Right. You're going to need to right. have stem cells exactly. about every six months. Yeah. No, and no, not no. exosomes. You need stem cells from uh, newborn babies' umbilical cords. Live and, birth. Yes, exactly. So again, that's the reason. But for other causes of arthritis, we're talking about arthritis, improper lifting. When you're lifting wrong and not using your knees and hips to lift, you're putting tremendous stress on the, on the back, the disc, and the facet joints, as well as motor vehicle accidents like your sister, she fractured her back, she had severe arthritis in her back, falls, slips and falls can cause it too. And so the same treatment is the same thing we did with uh, strains and sprains, same thing. same thing. Use our trifecta, our 
nanoglutathione for women, four, four, to, four sprays to six sprays twice a day, men six sprays mm -hmm. twice a day. And then also our, uh, our joint formula, one twice a day with the Boswellia, and then our collagen. Those are the key things. Uh, you need at least two scoops of collagen a day. I put my collagen in my coffee. We have four flavors, and if you, if you don't like a flavor, you can just use our flavorless. We have the chocolate, we have the vanilla, we have the coconut chocolate, like the Mounds Coconut tastes, Joy. Yeah, it tastes like Mounds uh, <laughs> Almond um, Joy Bar. Almond Joy Bar, okay. People really like it. And then the same thing, if you're having bad arthritis, what's amazing, works like an anti-inflammatory, is combining the Boswellia 5 loxin which has 10 times more AKBA, the active form of uh, Boswellia, uh, than regular Boswellia supplements, along with the curcumin. And the Boswellia is 100 milligrams, one to two twice a day. The curcumin is 500 milligrams, two twice a day. And those two work synergistically and work better than most anti-inflammatory meds. And then after that, if you're still having problems, add the natural anti-inflammatory. You can either add the vascozyme, which are the proteolytic enzymes that contain trypsin and chymotrypsin, three to six tabs, empty stomach, twice or three times a day, usually 30 minutes to an hour before meals, and or seropeptase from that little enzyme in the digestive tract of the silkworm that helps the silkworm digest the cocoon so the moth can come forth. Well, that the company in Japan has actually isolated that enzyme and manufactured it, and they get it, they use this in Japan and Europe, much wow. more so than we do in the U.S. Wow. It's 10 milligrams, one to two tabs, three times a day, again, empty stomach, or bromelain. I love pineapple enzyme, 500 milligrams. You can take uh, 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams, three times a day, empty stomach. And, this and those is, are, and that's this natural. For that's for arthritis. Arthritis. Arthritis, yes. Okay. And then also remember you're uh, alkalinizing your body with either aluminum-free baking soda uh, from like Bob's Red Mill, get it from online or any health food store, or Alka-Seltzer Gold you get from Amazon. Works amazing, either one of those, and get that pH of the urine alkalinized to 7.0 to 7.5. And the reason he's going through this is I've because, already talked about it, yeah. is because the spine, that arthritis in the spine is so common. And it's common, and Pain. when the body has inflammation, it's more acidic and it has muscle spasms. So you, got, you have like an area of inflammation where literally you have more buildup of waste products and lactic acid. We want to alkalinize the body, which helps so many people with chronic pain. And then uh, consider stem cell injection from umbilical cord from healthy uh, newborn babies. Stretching, or stretching exercises are really important. That's why we have a stretching video, as well as postural exercises, as well as core exercise. You gotta do them all, but don't do it if you're in acute pain. You wanna wait till the pain subsides. And then, real important, lose the weight. You gotta get the weight off, because so many people have arthritis because they've exceeded their weight limits. They've got a big old belly sitting out there that's pulling their spine forward. It's creating tremendous pressure on their facet joints and on their disc, and it's literally the root cause of their problem. And they're, they're forward. Their body's pulled forward from all the stress of the world, the stresses of the world, the depression, the stresses of life, and they're just carrying those burdens on their shoulders. You're supposed to cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. Don't carry him. You gotta cast them off. Too many people are overburdened. They've got that wilted flower posture or drooping flower. Cast the cares off of your shoulders onto the Lord's shoulders. The Lord just quickened that to me. I know that's literally ministering to someone out there and you're carrying those problems. You gotta cast them over onto the Lord. And then lose the weight, exercise regularly. And I tell a lot of patients, take testosterone for men and women. After age 50, so many people, men and women, get arthritis. And arthritis is just wear and tear where you wear the cartilage out in the facet joints. And so what testosterone is, it's a natural hormonal anti-inflammatory. It strengthens the bones, strengthens the muscles, and decreases inflammation. And you combine some natural, some bioidentical testosterone. Women, I've used the cream or a pellet or a sublingual trochee or tab. And men, the same thing, but men usually do best with a shot. And so, again, if you don't like shots, we use cream. We have these new creams that work amazing. We get blood levels as high as shots with the creams. So if you're afraid of needles, there's natural ways we can do that with creams. But testosterone is absolutely amazing at helping with inflammation. If you're in your early 50s or less than 50, you can use our testosterone zone that has natural nutrients that boost your testosterone naturally, just three tabs in the morning, 
works amazing. It has a testophen in it, which is fenugreek, and it has the long jack or tongue cat that helps to boost testosterone levels naturally. It works amazing. So again, that's arthritis. The next one is what you've been waiting for, bulging disc. Mm -hmm. Mary, this is so common, mm -hmm. so common. When, I, when people come to see me, a lot of times they'll bring in their CT scans or their MRIs or CT scans show that bulging disc. It doesn't show up on x-ray. Mm -hmm. And they say, I got a bulging disc. The doctor said that I need to have surgery to, uh, you know, remove I know, it. and what, what's, what's troubling to me about that is that once you do surgery, mm. you begin, it's almost like Dominoes it's a falling. domino and effect. And you gotta do another, other disc levels, yeah. Another disc goes out and then you have to have surgery again and all. So if you haven't had surgery, um, please, please follow this program. listen to what he's saying. This could save you a life of having to go through multiple surgeries in the future. There was one person I was so sad to hear that they had gone and had the surgery. And I said, why didn't they come see Dr. Colbert? We could have stopped it and maybe reversed it. Um, I remember years ago, Don, you were telling me something because um, I was going up the stairs and my knees were popping, popping, popping. And I said, why is my knees popping? Why does it crack and pop so much? He goes, because you never drink water. <laughs> and I said, right. well, I hate the taste of water. <laughs> You know, it, it, it tastes chlorinated and bleh. I, you know, I live in Florida and it, the water there is terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> it is. And I said, so, you know, I drink tea or other things. And um, he goes, Mary, you don't understand. Let me explain something to you. And this was so powerful. This literally was eye-opening to me. Mm -hmm. He goes, your body system has this built-in hydration like a sprinkler system in your body. And it keeps the organs, it's important for the main organs to keep the water going. And when you don't take water in, pure clean water on a daily basis, guess what it does? It's like a water rationing system. Right, yeah. and you said it's pulling mm -hmm. the water that's in parts of your body to make sure all the other organs are getting the water it needs. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, your discs are like full of water. About 66 to 86% water. That's a lot of water in your disc. And if you're not yes. refilling those discs, it's like your tires going low exactly on air. Right. And then you said, and then one day, Mary, you're going to bend over and you're going to blow that tire. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so that was That's a, a disc, is like that, a tire. Yes, and it's that like was an the mental tire. image exactly. that you it's gave true. me. Say, Mary, you've got to hydrate. You've got to hydrate. Keep those discs well plummeted because that's how it works. Well filled with water, yes. With water. And, and, and what was so powerful is... You know, I drink a lot of lemonade, so I think lemonade's good. Yeah, it's right? good. It's alkaline, what? too. It's very alkaline. As long as it has no so sugar. I drink a, no, I don't. Sugar's an acid. I get the sugar-free. Right. Sure. So stevia, I drink a ton of lemonade now. It's real alkaline. And that's, that's my hydration is lemonades now. But when you drink something like tea or coffee or sodas, it's pulling the moisture out. It's dehydrating you. It's not hydrating you. Mary, I see this on I'm this. telling you, folks, every this is week, so important. I see this every week. People come in to see me. Mm -hmm. They've had a herniated disc and they're overweight. Almost all of them have big bellies pulling them forward. They have poor posture, improper lifting, or they just bend over in the shower to pick up the washcloth and boom, they herniate their disc. Mm -hmm. But almost always, they don't take in enough water mm -hmm. because the, the water, uh, the, the Air in a tire is similar to the water in the disc. The disc is mainly made of water, 66 to 86% water. This is just so, and so simple. When, when those and discs just... get low in water, yeah. they're more prone to herniate, especially with those increased frictional forces from poor lifting technique or from be the belly pulling the back forward. It puts increased frictional forces and then boom, just that one little improper lifting technique will blow out the disc. Now, how... I'm Go, Go ahead. ahead. I, I just, you know, I just want to interject right here because I hear this in my head. I hear the Holy Spirit saying to you, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Well, guess what that means? 
That means the soulish part of you, which is your mental part. That's the soulish mind, part of it. Mind, will, and emotions. Yeah. The mind, will, and emotions. So when your mind becomes educated as to something that's good that you need to do to your body, do you know, and you follow that process, your body will heal. God designed yes. this body Absolutely, incredibly Mary. to heal itself. Yes. Even of arthritis? Even Absolutely. Even of everything. It just is amazing, <laughs> folks. And God, he really did. He's made us to even heal ourselves. But you've got to do some things. The main, main thing <laughs> is treat your back pain the same way as you, you treat your back strain or sprain or arthritis. You have the trifecta, the master anti-inflammatory, the master antioxidant, glutathione. Usually four to six sprays twice a day. The collagen, two scoops a day. The joint formula, one tab twice a day. Those are the baseline. Now, if you have more problems, if you're still in back pain, add the curcumin, 500 milligrams, two twice a day, and the five loxin boswellia, 100 milligrams, one to two twice a day. If you're still having problems, add the vascuzine, the proteolytic enzyme, three to six tabs, three times a day, empty stomach. If you're still having problems, then you want to go ahead and add some Alka-Seltzer Gold or aluminum-free baking soda. And what we find is those are the key things that stop or turn way down the inflammation naturally without any side effects. But the most important thing, we're going to have to wait. It, well, we're out of time now. <laughs> but I'm going to I'm give them a hit real quick. Okay. One of the most important things, the DRX 9000. We're going to yeah. discuss that in detail in the next yeah. show. Yeah, that machine is a powerful. We used to have one, um, yeah. but uh, lack of space in our office, we had to right. move it on. We appreciate you being partners with us. We, as you see, we have products that we talk about that are ours, but he also talks a lot about products that isn't ours. So we try to balance it out so you don't feel like we're trying to sell something to you that doesn't work. We want to share with you things that we truly believe work and we've seen results. Whether it's ours or somebody else's, we don't care. We are interested in bringing you what is truth because you shall know the truth and the truth is what sets you free. And the truth, there is so much truth about health and it's our desire to bring it to you. When you partner with Divine Health, you are partnering with us to be able to bring this information to you for free. That's what we want to do and to share it with the public. We really appreciate our partners um, that help support us in each month. We don't ask for money to be sent to us. That's not what we do. But our products is what supports what we do. And we really appreciate it. Go to divinehealth.com or drcolbert.com. Take a look at all the products we offer. The packages that are specific toward different diseases. Because we believe God has an answer for every, not some, every issue that you're struggling with Amen. in your life. He has an answer and it's our desire to try to find it and bring it to you. Amen. God, God bless, bless you. you. We love you. Thank you.